these are the shoes that I wore when I first started playing pickleball. Yeah, pretty beat up. It was really confusing to me because I assumed that tennis shoes were made for tennis, but they really aren't. Tennis shoes have horrible lateral support and they won't even last a month on a rough textured surface. And that's how you get shoes that end up looking like this. And these aren't even that bad. I've seen ones way worse. Eventually though, my much wiser retired friends at the pickleball court convinced me that I needed an actual pair of court shoes. <sighs> Dude, this thing is heavy. So naturally, I logged onto Facebook, went to a Facebook pickleball group, and searched up the million dollar question. What is the best pair of pickleball shoes? And of course, the million dollar question has a million different answers. I mean, the obvious answer is that everybody has different feet. So naturally, everybody needs a different pair of shoes. So therefore, there is no best pickleball shoe. I mean, how could there be? That's the answer I subscribe to. So since all court shoes are the same, I went online and found the cheapest pair that I could find that still had a durable outer sole and some lateral support. And that's how I ended up with these $30 court shoes that I wore once and will never wear again because it literally feels like I carved out a brick and then slip my foot inside. So I decided to move up a tier and look for shoes in the 70 to $120 price range. Around this time is when I learned about the durability guarantees from Tennis Warehouse. This may exist other places, I'm not really sure. But basically, if you buy a shoe from this small list of options and you wear the sole out within six months, they'll send you a new pair for free, which is a pretty dang good deal. And that's how I ended up with these shoes that I'm wearing today. I mean, they're okay, but there's gotta be something better out there. I should probably go get those. I mean, surely if anyone has answered this question, it's gonna be the people that are on their feet every single weekend playing at the highest level possible. So here's the plan. Why don't we just look at the top pros and see what they wear? Ah, pretty smart, yeah? Recently, I did this same analysis for pickleball paddles, but the problem is most pros are sponsored by a paddle company, so they have to use that paddle. But for shoes, it seems like only four or five of them are sponsored. So there really shouldn't be too much bias in our sample. Get a little warm up in. Now, for some reason, figuring out who the top pros are is actually pretty difficult. But thankfully, do propose the top 40 pros, men and women, on their Instagram page periodically. All right, first attempt. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Not a bad first one though, to be honest. Now, unfortunately, most pros don't post their preferred shoe in their bio. And if they do post a picture, it's not guaranteed that she will be in it. And even if they do post a picture with their shoes in it, usually it's blurry or you can't even see the logo. So really, this is the story of how I spent six hours looking through Instagram to find the perfect pickleball feet pics. That is very cringy. Oh. And what I found shocked me. 42% or 17 of the top 40 pros wear the exact same brand of shoe. <coughs> Don't put that in the video. Even crazier is that 20% of the top pros, including Ben Johns and Annalie Waters, wear the exact same style of shoe. Not bad. The most worn shoe brand by a long shot is Babolat. Babolat, Babola, it's French, Babolat. <laughs> the French racket sports giant provides the go-to pickleball shoe for Ben and Colin Johns, Lindsay and Riley Newman, Annalie and Lee Waters, and these eight other top pros as well. Eight of these pros were the Jet Mach 3, four of these pros were the Jet Terre, 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 I don't know how to say it. Four were the Propulse Blast, four wear the Propulse Fury, and one Jade Kawamoto wears the SFX3. And coming in at number two on the list is the American tennis company K-Swiss, with five of the top 40 pros wearing their shoes. And that includes J.W. Johnson, Jay Davillier, Andre Descu, Rob Nunnery, and Yana Grachinka. Now, I'm not gonna bore you by listing off every single pro and what shoe they wear, so instead, I made this Google Sheet 
that you can go and look for yourself. And in that Google Sheet, I also provided a link to the cheapest pair of those shoes that I could find on the market today. Now, honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with buying any shoes on this list, but please don't go out and spend $30 on two bricks. It's really not worth it. But if you have worn bricks in the past and you happen to have some plantar fasciitis, I'd recommend checking out Ufus. They're a type of sandal. And also check out this amazing video by my friend Chris from the Pickleball Studio. By the way, I'll be playing at the NC Open in Charlotte this weekend and the Atlanta Open coming up pretty soon. Oh, come on. So if you're coming to one of those tournaments and you see me there, please come up and introduce yourself. I really love meeting all of you legends. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yes, come on. See ya.